The periodic table is the most powerful tool a chemist has for organizing the chemical information. The properties of elements show a regular gradation across a period or down the group in a periodic table. When we move across a period, the number of shells remains the same but the number of electrons in the valence shell increases. This is the reason why elements within a period show gradation both in their physical and chemical properties. Within a group, the elements have same number of valence electrons but the number of shells increases by one at each step and becomes equal to the number of the period. Therefore, elements in a group show similar chemical properties but their physical properties show a regular gradation. Let us discuss how the various properties of elements such as valency, atomic size, metallic and non-metallic character and the chemical reactivity change on moving across a period or down the group. Valency is defined as the combining capacity of an atom with another same or different atom. Electrons in an atom are arranged in definite shells. The electrons present in the outermost shell of an atom are called valence electrons and these electrons determine the valency of the atom. The elements with completely filled outermost shell are stable. For example, helium and neon. Where helium has two electrons in its outermost shell and neon has eight electrons in its outermost shell, do not combine with any other atoms. Thus, they have zero combining capacity and therefore the valency of such elements is zero. For atoms having less than four or four valence electrons, the valency is equal to number of valence electrons. For example, magnesium has electronic configuration 2, 8, 2. There are two electrons in its valence shell, hence the valency of magnesium is 2. For the atoms with more than 4 valence electrons, the valency is given by 8 minus the number of valence electrons. For example, sulfur has electronic configuration 2, 8, 6. It has 6 electrons in its outermost shell, hence its valency is determined by subtracting 6 electrons from the octet, which gives valency of sulfur equal to 2. On moving from left to right in a period, the number of valence electrons increases. Consider the elements of second period. On moving from left to right, we see that the number of valence electrons increases from 1 to 8. Therefore, the valency of elements in a period increases from 1 to 4 and then decreases from 4 to 0. In a group, the valency of all elements remains same. Consider the alkali metals of group 1. From lithium to francium, all the elements have one electron in their outermost shell, which means the elements have one valence electron. Therefore, the valency of all these elements is equal to 1. Similarly, in case of group 2 elements, the number of valence electrons is 2. So, the valency of elements of group 2 is equal to 2. Now, let us know how atomic size, also known as atomic radius, changes along the group and across the period. Atomic size or the atomic radius is the distance between the center of the nucleus and the outermost shell of the atom. As we move from top to bottom in a group, the atomic size increases. Let us take the example of group 1 elements. As we move from hydrogen to francium, the number of shells increases and hence the atomic size increases. In a period, the atomic size decreases from left to right. Consider the elements of second period. Here, lithium has the largest atomic size, while fluorine has the smallest atomic size. This is because the number of electronic shells remains same, but the magnitude of nuclear charge increases due to increase in atomic number. Nuclear charge is the positive charge on the nucleus of an atom, which is equal to the number of protons in the nucleus, that is, the atomic number. An increase in nuclear charge decreases the size of the atom. It is because the electrons are then attracted towards the nucleus with greater force, thereby bringing the outermost shell closer to the nucleus. Hence, the atomic size decreases. It must be noted that inert gases like neon, argon, etc. are exceptions. Their atomic sizes are larger than the preceding elements due to the repulsion between the electrons of completely filled shells. Now, let's take a look at the arrangement of metals, non-metals and the metalloids in the periodic table.
the left and the middle of the periodic table is occupied by the metals. On the right of the table are the non-metals except for hydrogen which lies on the left of the table. In between the metals and non-metals are the metalloids. They have the properties intermediate between those of metals and non-metals. The elements which have tendency to lose electrons and form positive ions are called metals or electropositive elements. On moving from left to right in a period, the metallic character decreases. In a period, the number of valence electrons increases from left to right. As a result, the effective nuclear charge acting on valence electrons increases and hence the tendency of the element to lose electron decreases. Thus, the metallic character decreases across a period. On moving down the group, the metallic character or the electropositive character increases. This is due to increase in atomic size down the group. The distance between the nucleus and outermost shell increases. The force of attraction between nucleus and electrons decreases and less energy is required to lose the electrons. Thus, metallic character increases. In group 1, lithium is the least metallic element while francium is the most metallic element. Similar order of increasing metallic character can be seen for the elements of group 14. The elements which have tendency to gain electrons to form negative ions are called non-metals or electronegative elements. Chlorine and oxygen are non-metals. They gain 1 and 2 electrons respectively in order to attain octet in their outermost shell. On moving across a period, the non-metallic character increases. That is, the tendency to gain electrons increases. This is due to an increase in nuclear charge and a decrease in the atomic size. Consider the elements of period 3, where the non-metallic character increases from sodium to argon. Non-metallic character decreases down the group. This is because the increase in atomic size overweighs the increase in nuclear charge on moving from top to bottom in a group. Consider the group 15 elements. The non-metallic character decreases and the metallic character increases down the group. The reactivity of metals increases with increase in metallic or electropositive character. Greater the electropositive character of an element, greater would be its reactivity. On the other hand, the reactivity of non-metals increases with increase in electronegative character. Thus, greater the electronegative character of an element, greater is its reactivity. As we move along a period from left to right, the chemical reactivity of elements first decreases and then increases. Consider the elements of third period. Sodium can lose electrons easily as compared to magnesium. And similarly, magnesium can lose electrons more easily as compared to aluminium. As the tendency to lose electrons decreases, reactivity also decreases. Thus, silicon is the least reactive element in the third period. As we move from phosphorus to chlorine, the tendency to gain electrons increases. Hence, reactivity again increases. Oxides of metals are basic and those of non-metals are acidic. Therefore, as we move from left to right across a period, the basic character of their oxides decreases while their acidic character increases. For example, in third period, the acid base character of their oxides varies as follows. Al2O3 is however amphoteric, that is, reacts with both acids and bases. At last, the variation in the properties of elements in a group and in a period can be summarized as follows.